Hey Basset Hound lovers, this is Philip, and I'm here to help you get logged in with Discord for our annual meetings. Hopefully uh, this will be helpful to you and lessen your stress of getting logged in on time for our meeting both this coming Saturday and in the future. Uh, the good news is that once you ever get logged in, it's a much easier process. So I'm going to bring you through four different types of login experiences based on four different types of devices. The first one's going to be on a computer. I'm going to take you through the entire sign up for Discord process. And then we're going to do an iPhone, an Android phone, and an iPad. And uh, from that point, you know, you know, there are other Android tablets and things like that. But I think those general um, platforms will help you get through. Uh, hope you're doing well and you're loving on your Basset Hound. Matter of fact, uh, mine is sitting here at my feet while I make this video. Say hi, Annie. Okay. Well, she doesn't talk much, but hey, except for when she wants food. But who's Basset doesn't? So... Hope you enjoy the video. Okay, well now we're going to show you how we're going to approach Discord through the computer. What you see here is a email in my Microsoft Outlook account that I got from our wonderful Devin Merritt. And in it, she has sent me a link to the Discord joining page right here I'm gonna zoom in and this link is one that never expires matter of fact I'm gonna have this link on our web page that you can click on in case you don't have the wonderful Devin to have emailed it to you and all you need to do is come up here to the link and click or tap to follow so I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna open up another browser window on my computer now, if you already have the Discord app installed on your computer, all that information will come over to there. And you can either, at, this, at that time, click to join the Potomac Basset Hound Club over here in the app, or in your internet browser, you can cl click continue to Discord. First thing we're going to do it. We're going to use our internet browser. So I'm going to click continue to Discord. And right away, even though I've never... You, you see the Discord site. It looks something like this. It says I have no text channels right now. Because I haven't added the Potomac Basset Hound Club to my Discord. Now remember, this is your first time. Uh, eventually, you'll see... Uh, an icon here but since I have no I have no people selected I'm going to come up here to the plus sign and click add a server it's going to then display a message oh another server should I create a new server and invite your friends which you don't want to do or do I want to join a server with an invite code or link that is definitely what you want to do. So click down here on the green button, join a server. And then there's a place for you to enter your invite code, the one that Devin had sent me in the email. So I'm just going to control and paste that. I've already saved it. And you can see it enters that. Uh, if you didn't go ahead, you can just simply go back to your email and then highlight the code right click it and click copy and then you just go back to disk to the uh, your web browser and then you paste it in and it'll look just like this and then you click join and that'll bring you to the Potomac Basset Hound Club discord page and you'll see it up here in the top left Potomac Basset Hound Club and there's a pull down 
that shows all different kind of things that you don't need to worry about. And then you see text channels. These are places where you can have text conversations with members who are in the room, both during meetings and other times when they're logged in. General text, text about meetings, and then general chat information. What we're looking for next is under voice channels. You're going to come down to this bottom section and you want to click on general. And you saw down at the bottom how it said voice connected and you heard that beep that means that my voice is now connected and able to be heard in the chat room this is me matter of fact when I talk you see I light up green that way you know that the people in the chat room are hearing you if for some reason yours isn't lighting up you might want to go to your settings and you can check your settings by going down here to the bottom of the page see this is me PL music one and you'll be identified with whatever username you gave yourself and I can mute my microphone so no matter what I say in my headset you can see up here it's not transmitting at all I can also it's what this is called deafen if I don't want to hear anybody say anything to me, I click the little headphone icon and not only can I not, can people not hear me, but I can't hear what they're saying. That can be useful if I've got someone try else in the room trying to talk to me. But I'm going to turn both those back on. And this little gear icon, it says user settings. If you click that, it takes you to this page. It looks like that. And you see, that's my picture, me and Annie, PL Music 1, user number 9149 with my email. And what you're going to want to do is come down here to App Settings, where it says Voice and Video. And click there. And it opens up a section that looks like this. And it has Input Device. And there'll be a pull-down menu. And you can select whichever input device you want to use. I'm using my microphone on my Logitech USB headset, the number H540. But you can see that I have other uh, inputs that I can choose from. Um, and because I do music recording, I have lots of inputs. But we're gonna stick with my USB headset. And for my output device, I want to use the speakers on my Logitech USB headset or if I want I could send them to one of my other outputs like my main out on my musical um, interface but I'm going to go ahead and switch that back to my USB headset and if you're not sure you can check your settings by click let's check and when you speak, you'll see the voice and you'll hear it back in your headphone. So st stop testing and then that stops all that. And that way you know for sure you're broadcasting and all is good. And then you can just click out of there. So that's how you get logged in with a PC. It's pretty simple. Remember, always want to come down once you're in the room and you want to come down to general and click on that and make sure that you're in the chat room i'm going to sign out right now i'm going to disconnect and i'm going to go ahead and leave the server because now i'm going to show you how to do it with the app so over on this screen that's my dad, my mom, my, my, my son, and my wife. Uh, on this screen, this is the Discord app that I downloaded onto my computer. You see here, right here, it says that there's a link for me to join the Potomac Basset Hound Club. I'm going to click on that link. And once again, it's going to bring me back to that same similar screen, except 
you can see I'm in the app now instead of on my web browser okay and same thing if I want to join in the chat for the meeting I'm going to come over here to voice channels to general and I'm going to click on the general and then it says down here RTC connecting my voice is connected you can see every time I speak it turns green I still have the the uh, the user interface down here here I am PL music and I have the mute and the deafen that's when I want to turn off my microphone and my speakers and my user settings which allow me to go back to this screen and I can select video and voice and I can select my input device which is how I'm going to be talking to everybody in the meeting and my output device I can even go back through and test it and when you test it you'll be able to hear your voice in your headphones as well as see your voice on the digital meter and then when you're done cl click stop testing and that will be done then just click over here on escape and you're ready for the meeting because you says right here that your voice is connected and that you can see my name under the general voice channels that means I'm in the meeting and you'll be able to see the name of everybody else who's signed up for the meeting for the Potomac Bassett Hound Club So that's it for how we use our computer. In our next video, we'll look at how we use an iPhone, and then an Android phone, and then finally an iPad. I hope this is helping you, and I uh, look forward to seeing you at the meeting this coming Saturday.